Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be playing around with some drugstore makeup that I've never tested out before. So if you like to see my thoughts on some affordable makeup, please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to be trying out is from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Water Drop Primer and I have the Scent Coconut. I love the Wet n Wild primer water. I love this. It reminds me of the Smashbox primer water that I also really like as well. So this says revolutionary cream to water formula hydrates and locks down moisture, blurs the appearance of pores. So we'll see my skin. Yeah, it's pretty dry right now. I've got a few dry patches like right around here. I've been using the It Cosmetics um skincare line so i've used the moisturizer one before love it i just got the eye cream oh, i think it's like my new favorite eye cream but then i also ordered the neck cream and the only other neck cream i've tried is from tarte and it was like the maracuja neck cream whatever i really liked it but the it cosmetics one i think either that or is a foundation which i doubt is a foundation can i because i've used this one foundation in particular a lot and i've never broken out from it so i think the neck cream like broke me out so i don't know i usually just use the neck cream at night and i use it every day so maybe i should skip like or use it every couple days or something i don't know let me know if you guys have tried it and if it made you break out but ooh, ooh, it's weird it smells like coconut and paint like it smells like a coconut paint a coconut version of the photo focus foundation like you guys know how that smells like paint like this ooh. oh okay well now it smells like one of those scratch and sniff books um it does feel hydrating feels really creamy and really nice on the skin the scent not my favorite but I could get over it Ooh, that feels really nice on my skin okay Okay, minus the scent. I really like how it feels on my face. I don't know if it really blurred anything or not, which I don't really care about that. Like, I don't look for that in a primer. I look for, like, a hydrating primer. Um, it does look like it blurred my pores. Well, obviously, I have pores all over my face. But, like, my, my bigger pores, I guess, are, like, right here. So it did kind of blur those a little bit but nothing like crazy or anything so as always i'm just going to use a foundation that i know i already like so that way i can give the other products a fair chance i haven't used this in a hot minute though so i busted this out it might be a little too light but i figured i could just really bronze up the skin but i'm going to go ahead and go in with the l'oreal infallible foundation i have the shade 460 golden beige i do have a foundation first impression and wear test on this so i will link that in my description box if you want to check that out all right, I'm not the biggest fan of this foundation on top of this primer. Um, just looks weird. Like, I feel like it, like, exaggerated, like, the lines in my forehead and made my skin look kind of cakey, like, kind of dry and cakey. So... That's why I like to sit down and do these videos so I can like do different concoctions, I guess, makeup concoctions and see like what works and what doesn't and like, yeah. So if you own that primer and that foundation, don't put them together. <laughs> so for a concealer, I'm going to be trying out the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This is what this guy looks like. The original no filter concealer doesn't really work for me. It's like really drying. It just depends. Like sometimes I can get it to work and other times I can't. But for the most part it doesn't. Like it kind of reminds me of the e.l.f. camo concealer. Like that's way too drying for me. Tarte Shape Tape is too drying for me. So if you are similar to me and like those don't work for you. Um, I think this might be a good alternative because this is supposed to be hydrating as opposed to the no filter one. So I have the shade Light 33C and it's a flat doe foot. Oh, oops. Hmm, it smells familiar. It kind of smells like the Kylie Cosmetics concealer, but this seems like it's thicker. Interesting. I'm going to try not to bring my concealer down too far. Normally, I bring my concealer all the way down the side of my nose, but I want to try something different today. So, you know what's weird is like, I feel like a slight burning sensation from that concealer. It's weird. But I do like 
the shade of it. It's like a kind of has like a pink undertone, which normally I prefer that when I'm like my fairest and I like more neutral undertone concealers the rest of the time. And then when I have a tan, I like yellow undertone concealers. But this is nice. It's a lot thicker than I was expecting. But it blends out really nice and it looks like it's full coverage. I look crazy. This is way too light for me. But I do like it. It's very brightening, very full coverage. I'm just going to do the rest with my beauty blender. Um, you know what though? It doesn't feel very moisturizing or hydrating. Like it kind of just, I don't know, like it doesn't feel like a super matte concealer, but it also doesn't feel very like creamy and hydrating, moisturizing on the skin either. And like to me, I don't know, it's weird. Maybe the foundation's messing with it, but I'm just going to leave you guys for a quick second and cream contour my nose and I'll be right back. So I grabbed the wrong shade of contour. So when I am more porcelain, fair, light skin tone, I like to use a gray con like cream contour shade. And then when I have a little bit of a tan, like right now, I like to use like something that's more of like a warm color. And I grabbed the Anastasia Shadow Foundation one. Yikes. So I just went on top of it with the ColourPop New Renaissance. They don't make this anymore, but I just mixed the two shades together and it kind of worked, but that gray shade on its own was a mess. So I'm not exactly sure how to use this product, so we're going to be learning together, I guess, unless you guys have already tried this. This is from Makeup Revolution and it's the Soap Styler for Laminate Fluffy Natural Soap Brows. Yeah, we're just gonna try it. Um, it says dampen the applicator and swipe across the soap. Brush gently across the brows in desired direction to create a 3D look or use without water to hold brows in place. I've never tried soap brows. I actually bought the pear soap from the Dollar Tree that everybody always uses for soap brows. I just haven't tried it out yet myself. But I saw this and I thought it was cool. So I wanted to try this. So that's what it looks like. And then it does have, oh. Mine fell out. Um, I knew that was coming, but <laughs> mine did come with like this little brush. So I guess I'll, should I just get it wet with Mac Fix Plus? I guess we'll just do that. Okay. Just got the brush wet with Mac Fix Plus and then I don't know. This is what I'm doing. I'm just swirling it on it. Dude, is this actual soap? I mean, it smells good. Okay, let's try this. Maybe I should have done this before I did. Foundation and concealer. Again, I don't have like super full brows, so I don't really know how this is going to work. It's a good thing I did this before I set my face with powder kind of getting everywhere so yeah I guess this is definitely something I should have done before I did foundation. I'm gonna wipe off the brush a little bit and then add some more. Whenever I like whenever I've watched people do soap brows it's like their brows are like up and like flat against their head. Does that make sense? Like their brows look like the new like laminate brow thing that's going around, which I totally want to do. I just don't think I have enough brows to make it look good. Okay, so I think I got the brush a little too wet because it just made it like a sloppy mess. But I think now that it's drying down, my brows are starting to kind of dry down in place. Oh my gosh, I look crazy. Yeah, now it's getting kind of like waxy sticky. So next time I use this, I'm definitely going to do it before my foundation, but it doesn't look horrible. I guess now I can just go in and kind of like, I guess we're doing a natural brow today. Good thing I have bangs. So now I'll probably just go in and use like a brow pencil and just kind of 
I don't know, put some hair strokes in there, but it's not bad. Like, I like this. I mean, I this is the only time I've ever tried anything like this, so maybe like just a regular bar of soap works just as well, but I do like that it comes in this little compact with a brush. And I mean, so far, so good. So far, so good. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm gonna fill them in with a pencil a little bit more, but I kinda like it. So I'll be right back. It's definitely gonna take me a minute to get used to this brow style. I don't hate it. I think with a little bit more practice, I might like it. So I just took this CoverGirl brow pomade in the shade 715 and then my Anastasia, I don't know where it went, brow brush in number 12 brow brush. I just took the pomade and like flicked brow hairs, which I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to use it. But you guys have seen me just like draw lines. Like I don't think that's how the pomade is intended to, to be used. Obviously you can use it however you want, but I don't hate it. Um, this one is not my good brow. This one I think turned out okay. Like this one looks a little crazy. So let's not look at that one. But this one doesn't look too shabby. This one, yeah. I, I kind of like screwed up the front of this one. But then I just carved them out with the Chella Brow Concealer. And then I just kind of fluffed them up a little bit more with the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow, and this is in clear. So I think with a little bit more practice, I could probably get somewhat decent at it. Like, I like this because I really like the laminate brow thing, but yeah, I think I just need a little bit more practice. I've never used pomade like that. Like, I've never flicked it up like how I did just now. So I think just like around here is just like a little harsh, like the front of my brows and then maybe I, I could use like a lighter pomade but I have bangs bangs always seem to save the day so moving on I don't have a new loose powder to try out so I'm just gonna use the Maybelline fit me and this is in the shade light medium and then for my under eyes I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier secret brightening powder I don't know what's going on <laughs> with this headband but yikes Ugh. Anyway, so I found this at, I think TJ Maxx, maybe Marshalls, but this is from Profusion. You guys already know how I feel about Profusion. They have some of the best eyeshadow palettes, even they kind of beat out some higher end eyeshadow palettes as well. But I want to try this out. This is the bronzer and highlight. Okay, my number one complaint is I hate the packaging, super bulky, don't like that, but yeah it is what it is so you open it up and I have swatched it I've never put it on my face though but it comes with three brushes so you get which let's just try them out so you get like a contour brush a um this looks like an eyeshadow brush like an angled eyeshadow brush and then this kind of looks like a Sigma E25 like a more like flat buffer brush you get four highlighters two kind of setting powders or is that a bronzer i can't really tell i think two bronzers and maybe two setting powders or three bronzers and a setting powder not really sure but i figured we could try out this today so i'm gonna take this shade down here first and use that to contour with and i'm gonna try out this brush this brush doesn't look very promising they did come out with like a new line of brushes that are amazing i have a video trying out their new eyeshadow brushes so i'll link that in my description box as well if you want to check that out um they're definitely these are super flimsy i'm being 100 honest these don't feel like the best quality but the brand new ones do they're really good i use them every day okay so that's what it looks like i'm just going to work that back here i think i can't remember which contour palette Casey Holmes has but she always uses a well I don't know if she uses it anymore but for a minute she was using it all the time for bronzer and contour I don't know if it's this one though but she really liked it too so they are a little bit powdery this brush isn't horrible it's kind of nice that it's flimsy for contour because it's not placing a lot of product in one area it's kind of just like fluffing it on. Does that make sense? I'm going to take the same shade and do a little bit up here, even though I'm going to wear my bangs down, but I feel like you guys can see the shade better. Oh, there is a mirror, but I'm not going to even bother with that. Um, I feel like sometimes you guys can see 
the color better on my forehead. So I'm just going to do a light dusting up here. Okay, I really like this for a contour shade. I just, I hate the packaging to the point where I would probably peel this section off, honestly, and throw the rest of this away because that's crazy. Um, they do have a grayer toned one in here, which would be good for you fair porcelain, maybe even a little bit light skin tones. Um, but for bronzer, you know what? This just looks like all contrary. Okay, so the one that she uses, this is bronzer and highlight. I feel like the one that she uses has more shades. I'm gonna try this darker shade right here. I'm gonna use a different brush. Um, this might be a mistake. We'll find out. I'm gonna use this giant, what is this? Um, I think it's Equate brand and it's a bronzer brush I got it at Walmart. I'm gonna go in with the darker shade. I guess we'll see. They're pretty... I just went for it. Did you guys see <laughs> Oh, goodness. Um, they're pretty pigmented. That color is looking a little choppy. Could be this brush too. This brush is massive. It's pretty though. I'm going to mix the two shades, like the one I used for the contour shade and then the one I was trying to use for bronzer. I'm going to mix both of them and do that because I want my face to be kind of dark because the rest of my body has kind of a lot of color to it. It's just the foundation was a little too light. I do feel like though these bronzer shades are a little ashy like when I look in the viewfinder these look like kind of more warm tone but up close these three shades all have like an ashy undertone which I think this one over here was perfect for like my skin tone right now but that one's about it because even like the darker one I'd have to use that for like an eyeshadow or something but I would prefer my bronzer to be a little bit darker but I do like that first shade so I'm gonna take my favorite shade so far, this one right here, and I'm going to run a little bit on my nose. We're going for a natural bronzy look today. So this does have a highlighter, but we're going to come back to that. I have this guy I want to try out. This is the I Heart Revolution Peach and Glow Highlighter in Illuminating Powders. I feel like it was just two blushes. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to go in with this shade first. There's a highlighter palette that looks like this. I don't remember what it's called, but it's really good too. I think it's called Chocolate Elixir. I think that's what it is, but I really like that for a highlighter. Bet I love this. I love coral peachy shades, and then maybe this will add more color since I feel like I didn't get much of a bronzer shade on my skin. Ooh, yes. I knew I would like this. Kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Baked blush in the shade. I think it's called Sparkling Bellini. It's one of my favorites. This reminds me a lot of that. Love this. This is like the perfect summer peachy pink shade oh my gosh love okay so love this i'm just gonna okay i think i'm gonna use the other side because it is a little bit it kind of reminds me of like a blush topper take my same blush brush i'm gonna dip in there and then just put that on the apples of my cheeks that's how i always use like blush topper shades i just put them on the apples put it on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, back in with the Profusion palette. I'm just gonna swatch all, knocking stuff over. I'm gonna swatch all four. Profusion highlighters are so legit. These darker shades would be beautiful on deeper skin tones, or I'd probably use them for like a bronzy eye, but look how pigmented those are. So pretty. I think I'm just gonna use the, I'll use a mix of the top two shades. So I'm going to use these two guys right here. 
and I'm pretty sure these are eyeshadow brushes so I'm just gonna use my Anastasia highlighter brush or you know what I'm gonna use this thing I think I got it at Marshall's did I what is this Moda no I got it in a boxy charm for sure so I'm gonna mix the top two shades and apply that is pigmented this brush is awful but I think my Anastasia one's dirty there's a Smashbox fan brush that I had that I used to use all the time for highlighter and I use it so much I was like okay I have to use something different but I need to bust that out again because that's the best fan brush ever As you could see well bam that is pigmented By the way, I don't think I've ever seen these bulky Profusion palettes at like Target or Walmart. That's where I find like my Profusion eyeshadow palettes. But I have seen these at Marshalls, Ross, and TJ Maxx. So just in case you want to check it out, definitely go to those places first. Actually, I'm going to go... I'm just going to throw these two eyeshadow brushes that came in that palette in my little cup holder. And I'm actually gonna keep this brush in here so next time I grab this palette I can just use it. So I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit and I'm gonna use the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. This is the only way I use this powder. I don't use it to set my concealer because it makes my under eyes like cakey. So I only use it to clean up that area. I'm just gonna use my sponge. And then I just do this so easy. And sometimes I let it sit like why I do my eyeshadow and sometimes I just like blend it in immediately. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I guess we're going to kind of do like a fall summary look today. I'm going to be trying out this Morphe eyeshadow palette. This is in 15D Day Slayer. Wait, do you guys see this palette? This is what fall dreams are made of, people. So pretty. I, I love orange eyeshadows. Like they are my weakness. This is also like a really pretty palette for the summertime, anytime really, but you guys know what I mean. Um, I feel like the camera isn't doing this palette justice, but it is beautiful and I love that the names of the, of the eyeshadows are on the palette underneath the eyeshadow because you guys know whenever I try to do an eye look and I'm like looking at the back and I can never figure out what eyeshadow is what, so this is perfect for me. I wish everybody would do that. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M504 and let's start off with the shade up here called Natural. It just looks like a pretty good transition shade it's like a light kind of camel color Ooh, this would be a really nice shade for those natural makeup look days or no makeup makeup day just throw this in the crease and call it a day okay first shades good it's blending out really nice I wonder if people still use the Morphe M what was it called? Morphe... What was that palette called that everybody was obsessed with? I just thought of it and then forgot. Whatever, 350. And then they had like the 350 all matte, 350 all shimmers, which I was so excited to get and I never used them. And then they have the M... Why do I keep saying that? I, I think I'm like naming this brush. Then they had the 3502 or something like that. Like I wonder if people still use those i know i still have mine i usually just use it in the fall time though if i'm being honest i don't really grab it the rest of the year but i need to do a declutter video we sh hopefully we're moving soon and i have so much stuff that i need to declutter it's crazy okay i love that shade i'm gonna try to use like a bunch so let's go in with the shade upbeat it reminds me of makeup geek peach smoothie a little bit a little bit darker and i'm just gonna put that on top of that other shade. Ooh, I love this palette. I know I've only used two shades, but I just can tell. I'm gonna work this shade more so like on the inner to the middle. We can try those Profusion brushes. They didn't look very promising, but we could try them. Mm. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's try it. Ah! Okay, so I'm going to use the angled one that's in here. Let's go in with... Whew, that's really pretty. 
let's go in with this kind of like pukey looking shade it's called forever that's really pigmented the mirror on here is really good too and i'm gonna focus that in the outer part of my eye okay this brush is perfect for that i have another brush that looks similar to this i just never grab it but now this is like doing all the work for me for this outer part Ooh, this is such a pretty shade i would put this shade all over my lids too just for just to use it by itself like it's really pretty these shades though are a little bit powdery like there's a ton of kickback but they blend out really nice and they're really pigmented oh i love this palette okay let's go in with a darker shade let's try Ooh, this shade down here it's called epic it looks like a darker version of the one i just used Let's take a little bit of In the Crease. It's the orange shade. And I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to take the M504 again and just kind of buff that above everything. Because I love how that looks. So I want to incorporate this orange shade. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the shade called Epic and put that back in the outer corner because I kind of blended it away and I want to deepen that up again. I think I'm going to go in with the shade called Glow. I'm going to use my finger first. Maybe I'll make this into like an ombre. I think I'll do this one and then I'll put a lighter shimmer shade and then a darker one. Let's do that because I feel like I always do cut creases. Normally I like my lid shades applied with my finger but I feel like this shade would look better with a wet brush honestly. I mean that kind of helped but not really. I feel like the shimmer shades are a little bit of a letdown, but these matte shades are amazing. I'm going to take a little bit of highlight and put that on the inner corner. It's just like a lighter version of this glow shade. I'm going to add that right here. We have Spark and Bronze Beauty. Ooh, let's do Bronze Beauty, which is this top shade. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this over here. If I don't like it, I'll just cover it back up with the matte shade. I'm going to use the Morphe R39 and I'm going to go in with Editor, I guess. Do I want to use that? Mm. No, let's go back in with Epic and I'm just going to put that in the crease a little bit just to deepen it up. And I'm going to add a little bit more of in the crease. That orange shade, a lot more orange up here. Okay, so let's get started on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna take all the shades that we use. I'm gonna use Natural, Upbeat, Editor, 
epic on the outer corner. In the very first shade that I use, I like to squint and then drag that down pretty low and then it's like the darker the shades I go, the higher up they go on my lower lash line, if that makes sense. And then now I'm with the darker shade called Epic. And I always like to just work that right on, like right on top of my eyelashes. And then I'll bring it up on the corner just to attach like my top lids to my bottom lids. Does it make sense? I'm going to take the orange shade called In the Crease. I'll lightly buff that in there too. There. Ooh, I don't, I'm not going to do any shimmer on the lower lash line. So the only thing this palette is missing is a highlighter shade. So we're done with this. Love it. Like I said, the shimmers could be better, but the mattes, amazing. So let's go back in with this guy. And let's use the top gold shade for our for my brow highlight and my inner corner highlight. To finish up the eyes, I'm gonna try out the, I've never tried this, the L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof. You guys know I love waterproof mascara, so I'm gonna try this. Um, I don't think I've heard anybody talk about it, but look how pretty the wand is. It's like a steel blue shade, and then the wand itself is hot pink. This is in the shade black. So far, nothing can beat out my Maybelline Last Sensational Waterproof. That's like my favorite, but I love how this looks so pretty be a good eyeshadow look too maybe okay so I'm just gonna curl my lashes let's try this oh the wand's really not that pink like it showed you guys my lashes look so good I'm going in with a second coat this so the Maybelline Lash Sensational, I feel like makes my lashes like thicker. This one just makes them longer and more separated, which I'm loving. Just so you guys can see the difference. So obviously without and then with, you guys. Mm. I want to buy a heated eyelash curler. I used to have one from Victoria's Secret years ago, probably like 10 years ago. I really, really, really liked it. And normally, sometimes when I want super curly lashes, I'll just heat it up with the hair dryer. But I want to buy an eyelash, a heated eyelash curler. So let me know if you guys have one. And if you like it, and I'll pick it up. This is like my bad eye. Like this side is like my bad brow and my bad eyeshadows. Or pff, eyelashes. Like, I don't know. I think it's because I sleep on this side. You know what? I think that is right because... This side, my hair even curls way better, and then this side sucks. Everything about my left side is not good. But I think I just found my new favorite mascara. Oh my goodness. The only thing that I don't like about waterproof mascara, though, it's really hard to get off your lids. I try not to be, like, super messy, but, you know, it still gets on my eyeshadow. And it's hard to get off. Like regular mascara, you could just wait for it to dry and like flick it off. This, you have to like rub it off and then reapply eyeshadow. Like I don't like that, but... I just found something else to try out. So this is from Maybelline and it's the Lasting Drama Light Liner. Uh, this is in the shade Shiny Bronze. Let's try this out. I think I found this at the Dollar Tree actually. Like this. I'm going to put this directly in my waterline. This 
this would also be a really good eyeliner if you wanted to switch up like normally I put like a nude or a white in my waterline but this might be like pretty to do that if you just if you wanted to do like a pop of shimmer but would still go with like if you're only wearing like mascara and like no eyeshadow you know what I mean but you didn't want to just do like a matte nude shade or a matte white shade like I normally do I think this would be a nice switch up so I'm going to use this for my lower lash line as well but I don't really like it for my lower lash line like I'm having a hard time coating them so I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat on the side real quick and then switch mascaras okay I'm just going to chill before I get make them like super spidery okay I'm just going to use my essence lash princess waterproof this is my favorite for my lower lash line and then I'm just going to take my stippling brush and blend out that essence powder that I forgot about but that's okay all right so I have three things for lips the first thing I'm going to be trying out is from Maybelline this is the shaping lip liner in the shade beige babe really creamy really pigmented really easy to use so this would be a shade that I would grab if I wanted to do like a pink lip like a nude pink lip or a nude lip um, but I think I need a darker shade for what I'm gonna use here but this is from Revlon and it's part of their new matte lipstick collection this is fire and ice this also comes in like a cream shade too but this is their matte version that my lips are so chapped I should have put on a lip balm but I didn't okay I'm gonna have to clean this up because I over drew way too much of there what's this I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this obsessive compulsive cosmetics lip liner in the shade penny royal I don't think this company exists anymore but I really like the shade of this okay we're just gonna go with the super overlined lipstick because if I keep messing with it we'll be here all day and I'll just end up messing it up so I want to try out this lip gloss from morphe i think i got it in like a pack of four maybe this is in the shade punch i thought it'd be perfect flat doe foot but you guys know i always apply my glosses with my finger but look how pretty that is that'd be pretty by itself talk about a perfect shade match jeez That's like a really pretty lip combo. I'm gonna add quite a bit to the center of my lips because the bottom center, it's chapped. Gloss feels really lightweight, not sticky at all. And it has a scent, but it doesn't smell like too overwhelming. But I think it'd be really pretty by itself too if you just wanted to throw it on for like a sheer wash of color. So that's everything that I'm going to be trying out today. So I'm going to go ahead and go over everything and let you guys know my final thoughts. No particular order. So the first thing is the L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof Mascara. Love. I love this. Love. 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 I'm still going to continue to use my Maybelline Lash Sensational and Waterproof. But this is good switch up. I love how it lengthened and separated my lashes. Like I'm obsessed. Ooh, I should try out the Maybelline one with that one like together and see what happens. But love. Then we have the Morphe Gloss in the shade Punch. Love the formula of this. The color is beautiful. Love this. I want to get some more Morphe glosses. Then we have the Revlon lipstick in the shade Fire and Ice. And this is the matte version. Beautiful, you guys. This is the most, like, I don't know. It's like the most perfect pinky corally shade for summer. Like, it's gorgeous. And the gloss and this lipstick are perfect together. 
Then I tried out the Maybelline Shaping Lip Liner in the shade Beige Babe. Love the formula of this, love the color of this. I think I just should have used a darker color for this lip color or matching lip liner, but this is going to be so pretty with like a pink lip or nude lip. So I really like it. Then we have the Maybelline Light Liner in the shade Shiny Bronze. I love this. Like I said, it'd be a nice like switch up if I didn't want to put white or nude in the waterline and do this. I think it would be beautiful. I forgot. I have this guy too. This is the I Heart Revolution Peach and Glow. Love. Pick this up, you guys. Gorgeous. If you love peachy pink blushes. You could use this as a blush topper or highlight if you want, but this is beautiful. I love this. I'm going to continue to use this. It's so pretty. Next we have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Concealer. Um, I wasn't blown away by this. I do like it, but I'm not blown away by it. So I'm kind of just like 50-50, right? Then we have the Wet n Wild Coconut water drop primer. I like this too. The smell and it went away but the only thing that I have bad to say about it is just the smell but scents don't really bother me but if you don't like scents you might have a problem with this. But yeah I like how it made my skin look but these two don't go together. This L'Oreal Infallible foundation yeah no don't don't pair those together. <laughs> then we have the Revolution Soap Brow. I like this. I'm intrigued. I'm gonna keep messing with it until I can master this fluffy soap brow thing, but I really like this. Next we have the Morphe eyeshadow palette. Love. This might be my favorite thing from this video. This is the Day Slayer palette. Again, the shimmers were, I could take them or leave them, but the mattes, you guys. Oh, mattes. They're so beautiful. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers in here. Maybe the other ones are better, but the two orange ones are just kind of like, eh. But anyways, I love that eyeshadow palette. It's so pretty. Then the last thing I tried out is the Profusion Bronzer and Highlight. If you could find this for, I think I got mine for like five bucks, then I would say go for it. Don't pay full price for this. I don't think it's worth full price. Um, this brush is actually really good. And the other two, well, I lost the other one, but the other one, I talked all the crap about it and then I ended up liking it. So uh, the highlighters are super pigmented. You guys saw that. I'd probably use these two as eyeshadows. Hate the packaging, you guys. I hate the packaging of this so much. But anyways, love this bronzer shade. Love. I'd probably just use these as eyeshadows, honestly, but this is not bad. So if you come across that, pick it up. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how this makeup look turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this first impressions tutorial, and I will see you guys later. Bye.